Hello, everybody. Well, nobody's here yet, but hence uh, still the hellos. Hope everybody is well. Just a quick pop in today. I was on Rick's channel this morning, which was absolutely amazing. He's always such a pleasure. And I thought I'd just drop in and see who was around today and what you guys are all up to. Father and sons, hello. Welcome. Good to have you here. Like I say, just a kind of a pop in. See what you guys are up to today. Nothing too exciting, but always nice to be with you guys. That's exciting. Bottle caps. Welcome. JB Adventures. Tommy Tech Outdoors. Welcome. Juliet Miranda. Good to see you. Big Tender, 1982. Great. And like I see some new faith guys. If we haven't added you yet, please uh go to our channels, leave a comment if you do uh sub to us, because I definitely want to go check you out when this is all over. I think it's such a shame when I get six new subs and only two comments, because I definitely would like to see what you guys do as well. That's how we grow here. We're one in uh, we've always said since February 2nd when we started, we had 42 subscribers, and now we've grown a good bit. So it's possible for anybody. Uh, salut, Manon et Fish. Comment ça va aujourd'hui? <laughs> My French is not so good as it used to be, even though I'm living in Quebec. <laughs> I'm a bit rusty. I do mostly in English. And my last name is... Uh, my last name is English, but... Uh, my last name is French, excuse me. Yeah, see, yeah, guys, I, and, and it's good to see us all kind of catching each other, and please uh, add us as well, because I definitely will go. As I check the moment we're done. I go and see uh, see uh, who added us and go and check you guys out too. Hey there, train man, what's going on? Good to have you. So how are you guys today? How's everybody doing? Nothing new? I'm just... Marking some pages here. Uh, she's doing okay. She's uh, working right now there on some uh, setting up some new guests for next week and stuff like that. Like I said, she does a lot of the booking stuff and that. I was on the, well, you've seen on the Corn Life Network this morning. That was fun with Rick. It's always nice to go with the ones uh, that we've been together for a while and just chat. You're just sitting there at work? Well, I hope work is going well. We're thinking about you. <laughs> It's weird working from home. Sometimes I miss the having a place to go in the morning, to be honest. Uh, we got a lot of rain, yeah. In the Gatsby Z, where I'm from in uh, eastern Quebec, I just seen pictures, and wow, did they ever get nailed. My parents are out of town. It was my dad's birthday, and uh, I hope everything is okay with their house. Mm. Perfect, Big Tender. Excellent. And like I said, I'll definitely go check you out after. It'll be my pleasure. I, I'm always looking for new. I, I believe, too, uh, who was another one we had here? Tommy Tech Outdoors. I wasn't sure. Sometimes I can forget a channel, and I don't want to have egg on my face. Oh, yeah, we are connected. Now I remember it. Okay. But still, you're here, and I'll definitely, if you can check out another video, leave a comment anywhere. I'll come and check another one of yours. It's just that we've gotten quite busy with all this stuff, so sometimes I'll forget. So uh, those are the best reminders. Sunday, I, we were just on that last night again. I spent almost probably 14 hours on Sunday trust trying to get through the backlog of people because every time I comment, I watch another video. I've been doing that since the beginning. At some point, I'll not be able to do as much as I want to, but I want to try as much as possible to make it happen. A buffering video. Oh, really? Hmm. I don't know. I don't have much running. Let me just check my other computer, make sure that I don't have anything running that shouldn't be. Oh, okay, there. This might help a little bit. I will shall see. Put it back on. Oh, hey, Raven. How are you today? It's always nice to see you. Michael Furberger, I love your name. I love that. Oh, yes. Now, yes. Okay, okay. See, this is the thing sometimes with a lot of channels, and I feel bad about this, especially when we haven't been connected so long. So I'm always going back. Yeah, okay, now I remember you. Excellent. Well, welcome. Good to have you here. 
How's your day going today, Raven? It's not like I say a whole pile new. It was just a quick pop in. I just wanted to stop in and see how everybody was doing today. Uh, we got a great guest tonight, by the way, at uh, eight eight o'clock Eastern, as we always are on. We have um, Saint Otto, so we have. They're going to be great. They're one of the ones from the beginning, so that's going to be a lot of you know, not just talking about cars, but I mean, he's into building on YouTube and stuff like that, and all those good things. So. Yeah, I, I know, Ray. Same here. It's it's you know, I, I love when people appreciate you enough to say, you know, I wish I could catch more. Or do we all have live? YouTube is not our lives. <laughs> you know, it's a, a break from our lives. So, uh, anytime you're by is always a great day. So that's always good to have you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Welcome, well, welcome, Doodles, and that's great to hear. Nothing wrong with that. It's always good to have a nice day. Always nice to have good weather. Um, yeah, here it's kind of gray and uh, not the nicest of days. We had a, two nice days. We haven't had a lot of sun this spring. We finally got a couple of days, and now we're back. So, <laughs> yeah, Raven, did you get? Are you going to cover it? Do a live stream <laughs> for the royal wedding? Bottle caps only got something to say. Yeah, and bottle caps. I, I forget if I answered you a while ago. She, uh, Xenia's doing uh, so so better today, better than yesterday. But uh, you know, it always takes a couple of days. Well, you enjoy every moment of that, Doodles. <laughs> Try to ball it and send some this way if you can. Would be great. <laughs> Juliet Miranda, beautiful in Chicago. I love Chicago. Chicago is one of my favorite cities in the U.S. I used to go there a lot for business. And I always had such a great time. I just looked at your channel quickly, Juliet. I hope you uh, can, if uh, if you sub to us, to leave a comment because I'll go check yours out as soon as we're done. It's good to be supporting good channels. <laughs> yes, exactly. That we're looking forward to it. I understand completely. Because yeah, the phone is a little trickier so we'll definitely once you're all set up we'll do a dry run first because it doesn't always work so well with hangouts it's preferable whatever on a pc but we can get it to work so but we'll just do a dry run gotta get you two out here oh <laughs> i'd love to would love to i love chicago xenia's never been before the We've done all the provinces in Canada. I've done them before, but I've done them with Xenia as well. Except for Saskatchewan. That was the first the one that we did together in Manitoba. Those were two new ones. And uh, uh, I've been to Newfoundland, but she hasn't. We went into the States partly, but at the time she wasn't a permanent resident, and we got in a lot of trouble. She was pregnant with our daughter. And see, in Canada, like a lot of other countries, you're not supposed to technically build a life while you're here on a visitor visa, but we had already applied for her permanent residency. And when we got to the uh, border, we went into North Dakota from Saskatchewan, and everything was great. But on the way back, that's when it all started. And we were detained for, I think, four or five hours. We were interviewed separately. Uh, she was about, I think, five months pregnant at the time. And the only thing that saved us was is that we told the truth. And uh, they let us go, warning us to stay away from the border until she got her permanent residency. And uh, if things hadn't worked that way, if they made the decision, she wouldn't have even been allowed to come back into um, Saskatchewan. Her and Chris would have been put on a plane that night, probably thrown my knot and sent back to Latvia. So, yeah, we got a good scare. So she's got to see, uh, she's got to see like the, New England states and stuff like that, but this now everything is good. I mean, she, and they're, she's a full citizen now. We could go back. She has her own passport now, so definitely time to get back to the states soon and then go on a road trip. Like I said, this is pretty easy going this morning. <laughs> Just coffee and a small and talk to you guys for a few minutes. How's everybody else doing? What's new with you guys? Welcome back, train man.
I hope I didn't freeze up or anything. Did I? Oh. Oh, cool. Good, you guys are making connections. Always love seeing that. I have to get back to where. <laughs> you too, Tommy. You have a really great day, okay? Hope work goes well. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> You're such a character. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> you kind of remind me a bit of Xenia and the two of you. you kinda, I kinda... <laughs> what is it? the white stick I'm eating? <laughs> Actually, bottle cap, it was really, really... Good morning, Happy Trails. Welcome. Oh, okay, JB. Well, thank you so much for dropping by. It's always good to have you. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, like I said, tonight we have a good guest, St. Otto at 8 p.m. If you guys are around, love to have you. And Bottle Cap is uh, getting Canadian assistant in Canada and need to process. No. And it depends on the province. That's why we went to Saskatchewan, because each province has their own mandate of how many people they want and what they're looking for. And in Quebec, it was ridiculous, because Quebec has more input than any other province on who immigrates to here for their province. Oh, uh, sorry. Yes, congratulations, Happy Hiking Trails. Well deserved. Excellent. That's great to see. Nine hundred. Good for you. Well done. You got a great channel there. Yeah, Quebec. You see, she was twenty-four years old. Spoke three languages fluently: English, Russian, and Latvian. She had her master's in psychology. But, of course, as Quebec goes, because she didn't speak French, that would still put her to the bottom of the list. Going, it would have taken probably maybe up to three years. Where go, And we had to pay for Blue Cross health care during that whole time, blah, blah, blah. Where in Saskatchewan, it was about 11 months. Like, I've heard people talking about the Northwest Territories. Some people have not only been able to immigrate there, but they've actually even been able to bring grandparents, which is unheard of in Canada. Uh, just well, yeah, it's not unheard of. You can, but it's a long process. It takes about six years. But they do it in, for instance, Northwest Territories and Yukon because they're in such need of people, yeah, especially like nurses and stuff like that from other countries. But thank you, Trayma. But it's hard. And I mean, Xenia was pregnant at the time. We didn't get any healthcare coverage. Blue Cross only covers you till you're 31 weeks pregnant. After that, you're on your own. And that was the same time that the uh, boat load of uh, Tamil refugees was off the coast of British Columbia and came in, not picking on British Columbia. This was a federal thing. And they got to come in. I think there was eight women on board that were all pregnant, and they came in illegally, and everybody got free health care, covered all their expenses. I'm a Canadian citizen. My wife's in the progress process of it. We've done everything by the book, and we got nothing. So, yeah, I was kind of uh, wasn't the happiest about that. But it is, it, it, Canada is quite strict. A lot of people think it's like an open door and the same thing when Trump was in there, he was just going to leave and go to Canada. It doesn't work that way. It's not as easy as it's made out to be. Hey there, Stephanie. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And yes, another big congrats, happy trails. 900, that's amazing. So well deserved. Oh, God. So what's all with you guys today? What's going on? Canada invited me. Yeah, you, you get special treatment. That's why. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize that much. Good for you. That's crazy. 122 to 822. Jesus. I'm going to turn down my mic a little bit because Stephanie usually ends off all of her nights with a hangover and I don't want to hurt her ears or her headaches. So I'll just turn this down. We're going to talk really quietly now. So Stephanie doesn't have any kind of irritants here and she can get herself together for another wild night tonight as usual. <laughs> we had so much fun with Stephanie last night. She's such a riot. I did something I don't think... <laughs> Yes, we are, D. Greeley. That is true. And welcome. I think it's the first time we've been in a, a stream together, I think. Good to have you. 
D Greeley plays guitar and he did a review of a, a Hagstrom acoustic guitar. And I wrote back telling him to look in the sound hole at the, the label that's in there. I actually was the one who designed it because we helped bring those guitars back. Thanks, Juliet. I'm having great fun writing it, but when I get nervous when it comes to when it's finished to send it to a friend who is an editor and publisher. Ah, you just gotta you just gotta uh jump out there, never be scared of anything like that. We you have before D Grilly, sorry. Yeah, but well, it's been a while then. It's it's good to have you though. T throng. Oh, watch the, the live late last night. Boy, you're a tickle boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Stephanie always brings a, an air to our shows, we'll call it. <laughs> there, yeah, Stephanie. D is a new friend of mine. <laughs> Thomas Schmidt, welcome. So good to have you here. Another great channel. So many great channels. You guys, I always say it every time you guys are on, it amazes me. About 20 years ago, I shipped beached on the west coast of Vancouver Island. A small town was inundated with Chinese people. A few hours later, buses came, picked everybody up, and they were gone. Yeah. Well, I mean, once they're on the shore, that's law. There's, they have to. They can't turn them back. I mean, once they're there, they have to go through due process. You know, it just sucked because, like, my daughter was going to be born Canadian. And the moment my daughter was born Canadian, she had all the rights of any Canadian. But before that, it was almost like she was, people talked to us almost like she was like a tumor inside my wife's stomach. That's why it was such a hard time. And then to watch people come in illegally and get everything handed to them on a platter. Yeah, it did suck. I would be lying if I said it didn't. Bottle caps is full. Yeah, bottle caps is a lurker, Stephanie. You got to watch out. Especially when Susie's not around. When Susie's in, in the house, then we know where all of his focus goes. No, we had a lot of fun with Stephanie last night. Mm -hmm. It was one of the few, uh, one of the first times I've ever watched, went back and watched three quarters of our uh, live stream again. I usually don't do that. <laughs> yeah. And it wouldn't be right if I didn't mention it to st every time Stephanie's in, we have to say that if she does feel that she needs to change her life and her ways, there is a local AA chapter in Rochester that's waiting to talk to her. And that she can get herself back on track and out of the closet. And we'll cross her fingers for her. And uh, I think it would be better for her husband. <laughs> no, before anybody thinks it, no, Stephanie's not a problem drinker. It's just something we have to do with her every time she's on. Hence why I picked the uh, the thumbnail. <laughs> I'm sorry, she don't call exactly, Stephanie. It's the first step. It's the first step. You got this, girl. <laughs> Rosarian, welcome, 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 welcome. Another fellow Canadian. Rosarian's got some great stuff on his channel. And now I'm going back through your backlogs and stuff, like starting to see more of the other stuff you've done. Uh, yeah, always, he's always a good watch. A bit later today, like I say, I just, um, I'm still feeling this out in the morning. And like Rick does a morning channel from the Corn Life Network, and he's got a great channel, guys. And go check it out. It's a great place to hang. It's easy going. It's a perfect morning show. He just sitting at his table, having some coffee, and just chatting with everybody. Um, he's a good watch. We were, I was on with him for a little while this morning. We were supposed to be on yesterday, but his wife is, um, as some of you know, she's a social worker, and I mean, she's got a heavy, heavy caseload right now. And I mean, I can I I can only imagine the cases she has to deal with. So, we rescheduled. I think we're going to go on Monday. Uh, was the date that they came to? But I mean, it's all good. I always say there's life outside of YouTube. This is not life. This is just a break from life. Killing art. Good to have you. Good to have you. I always like him in every channel, just looking around. I guess it's my way of lurking. <laughs> Xenia's in love with your channel. We definitely got to get something set up again. Toro Ole. <laughs> I 
Oh, I, I'm so honored, Razor. Thank you. You've been really good supporter too. Like, and like I always will tell you guys, without shame, that's how much you guys make that channel so amazing. Without you guys, it'd be nothing. I mean, we can do whatever we want, but it's you guys that makes it great. So, we're always so appreciative of you, and thank you once again for mentioning us. It's so nice. Um. Usually I kind of ramble on all these things. This morning I'm kind of quieter, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and I, I guess because I talked to Rick this morning, so I guess I ran out of things. Uh, Buck is from, is it Alberta? Andale, Andale. <laughs> Arriba. Hey, Lois, welcome. My God, it's nice how we keep running into each other. I love it. Another great channel. We're going to be with you guys, yeah, in a couple of days. Yeah, Xenia corrected me when I was on and said about, uh, was it Friday, I said, or something like that. I'm horrible with those dates. She's always telling me when we're going to be doing stuff. She takes care of that scheduling. Wow, Juliet, I'm thinking of starting a podcast myself as well on uh, as my YouTube channel, but still thinking about it. What's your podcast about and, and what kind of books you're writing? Yeah, same here. I've been thinking about putting this into a podcast. It's, and I better do it before we get too many because I'd like to put them from the beginning. So, Empress Alberta. Hmm. A Nelly song we had. Oh, that's a treat. <laughs> Lucky you. Uh, you can keep your oil but Oh. <laughs> Oh, I never thought of that. Oh, you guys now, no territorial fighting today. Oh, people don't know there's a big battle right now between there's, they want to put a new pipeline in and uh, BC doesn't want it. And, uh, and Alberta wants to have it. So they're, they're even now threatening to cut off uh, oil supplies to uh to bc always fun stuff <laughs> i lost my chat i had it here uh today is just one of those days where i can tell already nothing's going to go smoothly but i guess that's what keeps things interesting let's pop that chat out again so much easier that way I'm uh, sorry, you make push story sound like the updated version of the TV show. Cheers. It is. That's exactly what we call it. We've used that analogy before. It is. And we have our norms. Uh, I haven't decided what bottle caps yet. He's kind of between norms and Cliff Clave. And <laughs> we're still working with some the way to peg him. <laughs> oh, uh, best friend in your thread is definitely Carla. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> yes, I need some coffee. You're right. You're so right. And this stuff's getting cold, though. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I vote Cliff for him, too. Yeah, he, he's got a Cliff thing going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or, or maybe even, uh, what was the name of the old cranky guy that owned the... Um, that owned the the restaurant up above <laughs> that was sleeping with Carla. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. You see, he's not even acknowledging us. He's right back to the price of gas per liter. <laughs> yeah, he's a cliff. We'll give him cliff. Bottle caps, Clavin. <laughs> yeah, you see, we watched it a couple of years ago because Xenia never got those shows in Latvia, so we watched a lot. Of, like we were saying last night, we were talking about like Drew Carey show and stuff like that. Um, my oldest son is 20 and I remember about four years ago showing him the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and he almost died. Like he had no idea that Will Smith had a TV show back then, like a sitcom and he was a rapper like before that. Was, uh, he was kind of shocked to say the least. Welcome, Jimmy D. 
good to have you i seen you roll up above and sorry i meant to get back to you and then i always get sidetracked on these things but welcome always good to have you ball cap own the new name cliff with pride you heard it here from raven and that's a seal of approval if raven feels that way you can't fight it buddy you just got to run with it raven knows how to peg her cheers uh her cheers cast so <laughs> Jeez, I can't believe I just love it though. But we, we do. I I honestly I used that cheers analogy before. We have a lot of regulars and some new ones dropping in and then mingling and you know, there's characters, but everybody's still good to each other. So that's a pretty good mix. Yes, Raven stamp of approval, 100 percent Not doing that too bad yourself, Jemmy. Actually, guys, I'm gonna run and get coffee for a sec. You guys entertain yourself. I'll be right back. <laughs> Ha <clears throat> ha, I caught him. Hello. See what happens when I'm not here? And I just came in here. I'm working hard or hardly working. Pick one out. <laughs> pick pick the one that suits the best. <clears throat> As you see, I look very sleepy. Although I'm not sleeping, I'm working. And I came here to check out what is on TV that he's watching. And he's not watching anything. He's talking with you guys. That's so awesome. Hello, heroes and heathens. Hi. So looking forward to the fifth. Uh to to uh record our pod well your podcast we're gonna be the guests how are those pickles doing by the way dad the rabbit hole is in hi so nice to see you guys and i know there are lots of people too that can't make it uh on our 8 p.m eastern live streams because of the time difference so it's great you guys can come in uh in the morning too and of course our uh, regular and faithful bottle caps, a best friend in the new thread. Oh my god, it was so fun yesterday. Haven't seen it, you gotta go and check it out. Stephanie's always so much fun. Just love hanging out with her. Mm -hmm. Maybe now it's gonna be my morning live stream. <laughs> see how happy is everybody to see me? Mm -hmm. I feel like mutiny. Well, I don't know now. I think you can go work, and, uh, and I'm going to talk. <laughs> and yes, thank you for coffee, by the way. <laughs> Is there some national rolls reversing or something like that? By the way, yesterday was National Penguin Day. I don't know how did they celebrate. Do you have any ideas on that one? Yeah, no, not Andrew. Thanks a lot there, Brooke. Good to have you in my corner once again. Yeah, oh no, the boss is in the house. See, Bottle Caps yesterday uh, said that he rather prefers morning lives, so I'm pretty sure he's not too happy seeing me right now. Can, can I get you something else? You enjoy no, coffee's coffee? good. <laughs> Takeover, exactly, exactly. That's right, girls. So what's my coffee? My coffee! Come on! I need get you one of those my ones. coffee! No! <laughs> Get back, get back to work. <laughs> Jeez. There. <laughs> yeah, I never heard of National Penguin Day either. 
She was trying to steal it. <laughs> now I want coffee. Well, so did I, and it looks like I got half the cup left. She really did a number on it for two sips. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Brooke. <laughs> you really know how to brighten a guy's day up. <laughs> She's working on stuff. <laughs> oh, she didn't know. Um, don't grab your coffee. It's coming for the calendar. See, guys, this is how full our month is. Just keep adding on it. Exenia? <laughs> 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 yeah. Our, our good friend down the rabbit hole would like a coffee, please. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> she was, I don't know what just happened there. Uh, I'll take a grown man down for tea. <laughs> oh, you guys are too funny. Oh, yeah, she's working on the uh, phrasing exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Almighty, you guys are something else. Well, I know what I'm gonna be working on for the next 10 minutes. Okay, girls, you, you're gonna understand me, okay? So I wanted to go get coffee for myself. So there is milk all empty, just sitting on a counter, and there is coffee left for me. So thank you. Thank you. Most are going to be surprised about the milk in the bag because that's a Canadian thing. Well, okay, milk in the bag. There's no, no nin. Like, what's the point of leaving it there, you know? So, it's, there you go. It's called job security. <laughs> <laughs> As Brooke was preaching last night to everybody on the channel, she always says that women need well-defined boundaries in the house. So. <laughs> not Brooke, no, not Brooke, sorry, because I've seen Core Life never. I meant to say Stephanie. Brooks are way nicer than Stephanie. <laughs> yeah, we we have quite a dynamic going. My husband put the cracker box back in the shelf with one. Oh, good, we're into a man hating husband hating session now. Excellent. Thanks for stirring the pot there, hon. We got a good chat going now. This is where we need that, like, uh, uh, SpongeBob uh, SquarePants, uh, two hours later. <laughs> you guys are... So... <laughs> well, there was still a cracker. <laughs> I think it was pretty nice. And now, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, Rick. Panic. Mayday. Mayday. <laughs> Oh, he's a good barbecue? Well, we were talking about that with, uh, which channel was it now? Uh, Traveling Taste Buds, that's right. And uh, we were on the same page. Like, he was saying the same thing as me. There's something about prepping something, putting it in the oven, and blah, 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 that just doesn't interest me, not even the tiniest amount. But when it's on the grill, and there's flame and grease, I believe it is primal, and I love it. I like doing the steaks. I like doing all that stuff like that. But the oven stuff for that, no, that's not my cup of tea. There's no interaction with it. It goes in the oven and magically comes out 40 minutes later. And most of those take recipes you're going to follow by line, and I would be no good at that. So I'm kind of impromptu. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, okay, yeah. That's the, I mean, I love when people are polite to do stuff like that. They even come back in another stream after and acknowledge it when it was something personal, like, you know, you had to take care of. Speaks of good people. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Stephanie's always got that way of looking at things. You are something else, my girl. <laughs> Melville's restaurant. I, I love yeah you love grilling uh bottle caps is constantly sending us pictures of uh him grilling and what he's grilling and flowers for Xenia and that uh, 
Yeah, exactly, Raven. Uh, Latvia is a lot like that too, especially in the winter time. It's it's like uh, I remember when our first winter here in Canada, she was amazed that so many days was like uh, plus thirty, like minus thirty, excuse me, and still such a sunny, bright day even in the winter. Smoking, you're into smoking meat. Cool. How do you get it inside the vape? You're still in the I'm still in the cheers. Like, yeah, I know, I know. That's true. I love that. I, we've been preaching that forever. Good cell life. Another amazing channel. So much fun. Matt Cook, Oregon, guys. He did a video last night. We had talked about it the night before. He wasn't sure he should release it. If you get a chance, go check out his video about photography. It's really, really good. I got to see it last night. I think it was one of the first ones to see it. It was really well done. Uh, he's got a great shooting style, and, and the way he did it was amazing. So, And like I always said, check out everybody. Check out each other. Support each other. And if you support us, we really do appreciate it. Just leave a comment because I'll definitely go right after this is done and go and check out your channel. It is so hard. We were talking about that on uh, uh, Stephanie's channel the other night, and she's heard it before, and I heard it before I got here too. To go from 42 to 1250 was 10 times easier than going from 1250 to 1350. And I'm still supporting small channels, some like with 20 and some with 100 and some with 2,000. And I don't know what it is, but... It's so hard to get people to to uh, subscribe to you. Then it's almost like, well, they don't need it now, or I, I don't know. And I am glad to be over the one K thing, and I'm honored on that. And it's not, yes, it's not just numbers now. Now it's more. I want to bring in more people that like what we do. But it's kind of weird. Yes, you were live on Pusha. It was amazing. You're always amazing. Oh, okay, I see, because Good Life is asking. Yeah, we were going to pass the torch over to her. We both said it was kind of late after that. We both ended up at the same other stream and gorillas. <laughs> it is a lot. Like, I'm even noticing that this morning, like, I had such a great time on Rick's, and I'm finding it harder right now to, to kind of talk about anything. Uh, but we had a great chat. It was really good. I, I Like, I've been telling you guys a while ago, if there's any new ones in, definitely... Check out these morning shows. They're really great. They're the perfect way to start off the day if you want something to watch. That's why I'm trying to cut down the nights and get like a uh, stream and then get to bed a bit. At a... Yeah, after now, exactly. Exactly. It's, uh, it's amazing how much it takes, especially because we have guests almost every day. Like people don't realize in the back just how much it is. And we get a lot of, like yesterday we had a reschedule. In the afternoon, Stephanie was gracious enough to uh, to come on with us. Um, I mean, some of you guys have already been on here. The Corn Life Network's been on. Down the Rabbit Hole was one of our first. Was, and she did her first uh, real live stream yesterday, which she did an amazing job at. <laughs> yes, and especially at the beginning, too. Uh, 20 minutes does feel like 10 hours. You feel like there's not another thing you could ever talk about if you tried. Um, I think Xenia is amazed that I'm doing these things right now, these impromptus, because uh, when you're sitting around with your wife, you don't talk as much. So I think she's more like, I'm waiting for the, you're talking to them, but why can't you talk to, sit down and talk to me this much? So I figure that's coming at some point. I know she's listening. So <laughs> it is stressful, but it passes. I still find it stressful sometimes, too. I know it's a really weird feeling every night before you press the, the start broadcast button. It's always wondering, is anybody going to show up? Is it going to go okay? We usually screw up our intros, so that helps take some of the edge off. That's going to be kind, kind of became our signature. <laughs> oh, not a problem, Stephanie. Well, thank you so much. Yes, and I hope you have a great shift in that. Uh, like I say, tonight we have Sane Auto on at 8 p.m., so if you make it back in time, please, if you can, drop in and give your best to your husband for us. It's so nice to have him on last. Her husband's six seven, you should, and her in a closet. I don't know how the guy ever got inside there. Really nice guy. You could just, you know, some people, you just get one glimpse of them, and they say three words, you already got a feeling, so you know, for him, and yeah, he seems like a really cool guy. And then he runs liquor up to her in her... <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know if he's a nice guy or a facilitator. We're still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> yes, yes, Rick. There's a little fuel to flow throw in the fire. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll agree with that. You will bounce. Yeah, that's right. Well, and when you're at work and we know you can't listen to your audio if you're on, we'll not have Xenia talk to you saying that she understands that you can't hear her. We'll actually get her to type at this time. <laughs> so, hey, uh, Halos and Heathens, is it Neil we have here? If you wrote it before, I missed it, and I do apologize. <laughs> yeah guys i guess i'm not so interesting today i don't have a whole pile of stuff yesterday i was pretty fired up but a lot of that's passed so not too often i get like that on here oh neil okay i just want to know how to address how's everything going with you are you at work today i always forget about the time difference and i'm not sure exactly what time you start so this guy has such a cool collection of guitars. He's like the 80s guy, just like me. The, the moment I seen them in the background, I knew what we were going to be talking about that night. And we spent the rest of the time of our wives trying to steer us away from it. <laughs> Him and I could have a good discussion just on our own. <laughs> Hope to, I'd love to get together with them sometime in, in, in real world. Yeah. It's, it's just people here I meet that I've, you know, and like uh, Rick is like that too. We have a lot in common and, you, you know, it, but in, in some things are overlapping between the two and some different. And I mean, that was a lot of our guests. Um, same with uh, touring taste buds. Yeah, we'll definitely, I agree. I think that that would be so cool. You guys are so amazing. I'm a total 80s kid. Yep. Same here, my friend. Same here. Xenia, she likes it, I guess. Uh, she she likes more of the music now that I listen to in that. I don't know at first. I would say she, she, I mean, she heard probably a good bit of the songs, but I wouldn't say she was dedicated to all them. I know she was a Guns N' Roses fan. But I kind of all over the place. I listen to everything. I uh, I play King Diamond on guitar and all kinds of stuff like that, but I also do play Poison, everything in between. Oh, definitely. Yes, for sure. If you do, most definitely we got to get together. Oh, that'd be amazing. Because you said you were here for a couple of months in the spring one time, right? Oh, that would be, yeah, definitely. If you're coming. And if you're ever in the Montreal area, Quebec, or anything, just let us know. It'd be nice to meet up. Oh, you met them because of the the the, the stream, Teeth Wrong. Excellent. Yeah, they're they're an amazing channel. Yes, when subscribers become friends, how true is that? That I like a lot. Xenia, uh, are you running the live stream? Okay, Rick put up the, this great comment, and he put uh, Pusha Studios, when subscribers become friends. When she's sitting beside me, she talks so loud, and when she's 15 feet away from me, she whispers. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but she seemed to be happy, but I, there was sound like a tone in there. But I got to think every fourth word if I'm lucky. Back in 1990. I know. Uh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to do the math for myself now. <laughs> for sure, Raven. That would uh, be awesome. Yes, that's never mind. <laughs> you're you're on a roll today, Rick. <laughs> She's the same way, Neil. Yeah, I I don't get it. I don't get it, and I try to figure it out for the life of me. Oh, I don't mind being in trouble. 
Oh, Xenia is pretty easy going. I know we put it, we joke around and stuff like that. I mean, that's just the way we are. <laughs> I love getting into trouble. Like, she'll have uh, uh, three uh, of her girlfriends all together, all sitting around talking. Like, you know, a lot of guys get kind of nervous and anxious. That I love it. <laughs> I, I feed off of those times. <laughs> that's right, Raven. New catchphrase where the guy is talking exactly. Yeah. Um, there are great friends here. I mean, you guys are amazing. So it's always I'm just uh, kidding. I just tuned in and saw that Neil was on. Oh. <laughs> Well, welcome. <laughs> that is so funny. And if there's something again, like Xenia does all the time. Like yesterday, I was doing this live stream and found out she was like listening for like an hour and a half. <laughs> the, the same thing. That's exactly what I mean. The, or like two peas in a pod. <laughs> yeah, I do like to cause troll. I get a, I get off on that. <laughs> I, I really enjoy that part. <laughs> That's where I, 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 she says it all the time. I mean, because uh, we are kind of more traditional. And I mean, it's just the way we kind of do things to each their own. And uh, she spoils me a lot. So I all my friends all the time. Oh, I feel so bad for Andrew. <laughs> I get that a lot. So I don't care. I'm still getting spoiled. So, so be it. But she was good to me. Uh, like I said, I was married before, and I mean, things happen for a reason, and I think I really lucked out. <laughs> but yeah, I am a troll. I, I, like I like to get things going. <laughs> That's when I'm at my happiest. <laughs> like like uh, Stephanie from uh, Best Friend Your Thread. Like She's that perfect one that I can really just have fun with talking to for hours with. Everybody needs a pastime. Mine is just being a pain in the ass. So, what's your hobby? Mm. Mm. Everybody's so quiet. Like I said, this is just an impromptu one. I can't stay on too long. I just wanted to come in and see what you guys were all up to. Milking goats. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, that was a good discussion that night. I think that was in Stephanie's thread, wasn't it? Uh, Stephanie's uh, stream, if I'm not mistaken. I kind of forget now, but I do remember the conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, everybody's got a hobby. <laughs> 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 you got a good angle there, Rick. I like that. Oh, you're making coffee. See, Xenia, I left everything empty, and she's just made it put on a new batch. So uh, I'm just sitting here cleaning in the background as I listen to for, for now. Well, well, you're still listening, so I appreciate that. I haven't uh, scared you off, so that's great. Like our humor sometimes it's just ours but because Xenia's always uh you know, she's doing stuff and then I'll like if I take my dishes out or do something like that, I'll uh I always refer to it as I'm wifing, which drives her up the wall and I pick up my plates and I sometimes then I feel teary eyed and I just want to have a cry so I feel better and stuff like that. <laughs> which drives her crazy, but Oh, you're taking off already. Oh, I was looking to more of your input. Oh, Juliet. Oh, I don't mean to chase away all the women. I think it's just jokes. I hope you know. I'm starting to worry there's a pattern here. I appreciate all you guys coming. It's always so good to have you here. 
You guys are awesome. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? When my hubby and I drink together, we we get super philosophical and talk about history and religion, and we must sound like complete dummies. <laughs> At least you're talking. Let's don't. <laughs> Is, is, is you can keep a conversation going. You're already three quarters of the way out through the battle. So, it's good to have that. And then you know, like soulmates. I mean, we're always kind of there for each other. I appreciate when uh, Stephanie said that last night. The way we work together in that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> there goes your supporters. <laughs> oh. I'll have to go drum up some more somewhere. There's got to be somebody who'd got to be 900 nail channels or something I can pick from and try and get a couple to come over. <laughs> and it's sad because I actually, we had a, it's funny, we're actually sliding in our demographics with women because we always had a pretty good following. I mean, we're joining this morning, but in all seriousness, I've noticed that lately, and I know it's just because of the huge influx and like 70% or more of the people on uh, 70 or 80, I forget, on YouTube or male. But I definitely want to build up the female de demographic more. Well, same as we lost some in the uh, like 13 to 18 market. We shot up more, though, in the 25 to 45 range. Do you guys follow your analytics much? I'm like constantly checking on to it. That's the one thing I'm really guilty of even when I'm out is all say I'm always checking uh uh checking YouTube, seeing where everything is at. See? I didn't re quite realize I was doing this as I was doing it. Uh let's see. Well, that's good. Nobody quit on us, so they just let That's good. Every two bloody minutes. Uh, welcome. Something happened? Oh, oh, every two... Oh, I get you. I get you now. Yes, yes, exactly. It's addictive. It's always a monitoring. But uh, in the upside, we did what last night was stream number 26, and we... Uh, not counting yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. We're at 81,500 minutes. So that worked out really well. So the minutes have gotten a lot better. Yes, I've been meaning to. I just keep forgetting. She said it looked pretty neat. I would, I'm would. i definitely going to go and check it out. Maybe today, though. I keep forgetting about it. Yeah, exactly. Because you're right, Don Robin Hole. That's something that's not worth. It's it's it'll, it consumes you. Uh, it's good to space it out. Some only do it like once a week, uh, once a day is fine. I'm literally on it probably. Uh, well, just started. Yeah, I mean, um, it's gonna grow more now. Um, the first month was kind of, uh, you know, there was ups and downs into it. There was other channels kind of cutting in, but now we're building higher and we're getting more people in and they're staying longer and stuff. And, you know, the growing hiccups. It, uh, we're quite, it, it grows. It'll take time. I would rather it grow organically on the live streams i really want to do what i think it is and we're starting to get more and more regulars back for longer and a mix of newer ones than just pop throughs because we'd really want to try and keep this going yeah thank you and uh, you know the, it's this one i really if we're doing it is more for the long haul yeah every yeah exactly exactly you know i've constantly so it is an addiction yeah, it's uh way too much i mean because then you're freaking every time there's like one ounce and it doesn't even update that much it's it'll drive you to drinking the old expression but um yeah you know want to grow up properly that's why i was so angry yesterday when somebody goes and says on twitter that we were asking them to help us with our watch time we're quite happy with our watch time is going and and uh, thank you, Corel Safak. You know, uh, it's 
We could rush it in, and I could go today and go and find every sloppy channel that's saying thumb 45 and blah, 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 and just beg them to come over. And they'll be there for two minutes, and they'll never come back again. I would rather it pass by word of mouth. That's why I appreciate when I see that you guys have invited somebody over to see what we're doing. It uh, That's the best advertisement there is. It's, yeah, maybe we're not shooting as f fast as some other ones. But I, I believe, too, it might be the reason why we might still be around when some are gone. So, you know, it's uh, I just lost another block of 60,000 minutes because of the year uh, cycle. It, I, I thank you. The guess it, it is. I mean, it, it really, I don't believe anybody can look at a channel the same way again after they hear that person talk for an hour and a half. And it's nice to talk about everything besides YouTube. You already see lots of what they do. You you get what their channel is about, and that's a good thing, and you're connected to them. But to have all these backstories that go along, every time you watch their video, I truly believe that comes back to you some way, some form. It makes a better bond, and people then write better responses to their videos because they feel more comfortable, more connected with them. And the better the responses you get on your videos, the, the higher it works for YouTube. So everybody's a winner. Uh, the good light, so uh, the good cell. I, you're always welcomed here, and um, you're an amazing channel, amazing supporter, and I can't thank you enough for being here. Yes, with Juliet, that's going to be amazing. Xenia's been telling me, like, she's so excited, you know. It, um, that's another thing, too. There we're talking about numbers. There's one that's not so big on YouTube, but huge in the podcast and Twitter stream. And I mean, that brings a whole new audience in. And instead of everything always being recycled, we have such a great foundation. All we can do is go up from there. Like, you guys have been so amazing at coming to streams and actually staying around. I know there's tons of streams, and I'd be doing the same, jumping and checking what other ones are doing. That's that's understandable. It's the same as watching TV. You're clicking through channels. But I feel like you guys, when you get a chance, usually spend a, quite a comfortable amount of time with us, and that's uh, that's hard. That's, that warms the heart. It means the world to us, you know? Uh, generates better relationships, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Raven. Like, you know, the, I would have never, because I don't, I hate drama. I won't, like, bang on it every day. I just honestly don't, I just don't care. It The only reason why was because it was in Twitter. And I thought it was a good time to set the tone for everything we do. I mean, we're as easygoing as people can be. But nobody with no cause will ever have a platform on this channel. And it's not, we're not big. Go after somebody that has a ton of subscribers. We're so minuscule in the shape in this in the scheme of things. Find somebody with a big plot that's willing to take your platform on where you'll reach a ton of people. It's not going to be a big benefit to you. Uh, we just don't do that here. And, and first and foremost, I've always said it, Pusha Studios is a registered business. And that's we have to protect that part of it. I know it sounds snobby, it's just because that's our livelihood. It's not like we're uh going to be billionaires this year. It's just that's what feeds our children. So we can only do this thing the way we can do it. And I can't. I love when people tell what's coming up tomorrow on their streams or what videos they have coming out. I mean, as long, nobody here has to be told stop doing it over and over because nobody's doing it. And if you do, I know it's by mistake. Uh, our first... Uh, <laughs> Train man, we love him to death. And like I say, we found out he was only 10 after the first day. Uh, the first time he was a uh, when he was a mod, <laughs> he kind of went on a bit of a rampage the first night. We had to slow him down. <laughs> and we, you know, he meant well. I know he was just excited, but uh, yeah, we don't need all that. I do mods just you know, summer here. And hey, you want to be a mod? And I know you're not going to be annoying. I'll make you a mod here. Let's do a couple. Let's do a couple right now. The good cell life. Congratulations. Uh, you're a moderator. <laughs> Halos and Heathens. Congratulations. You're a moderator. Raven Rain. Congratulations. You're a moderator. Rosorian Buck. Congratulations. You're a moderator. 
Coriolis effect. Congratulations. You're a moderator. <laughs> there. See, see, see how that changed everybody's life at that moment? <laughs> Down the rabbit hole. You're one of our first guests. You gotta be a moderator. There we go. Moderators for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. You got the world in your hands now. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so there, there now you see how worried I am about all this. And and all joking aside, like if somebody's becoming too much of pain with it, I won't get rid of one. We'll get rid of them all because we don't even need moderators to begin with. You know, and it's not that like I just do it right here, Joan, but I mean, it's, it's respect for you guys. But, you know, it, yes, <laughs> Cornlet. Rick, you behave yourself. <laughs> the only wrench I'm willing to you. I love you. You, you, were, you're, you're like Xenia. I, I have you have a special place in my heart because you are like a true blooded girly girl. I just love it. I, I don't know that because Xenia would give that exact same answer right there. I, you're so amazing. I'm popping in to say hi to everyone. Congratulations. Here you go, Reese. You're a moderator. Use it with pride. Don't abuse it. <laughs> he has been here since the beginning. He's been a great supporter. He definitely does deserve it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there you go. It's like being knighthooded. And, and like I've seen this since the days of MIRC, like it drives me crazy with people like mods, and then they go to their heads, and then it becomes like some sort of posse, if you will. It's like, good God, it's a channel. You're watching a bunch of ones and zeros for the love of, you know, I want to visit you guys so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my chances. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rick, let's strategize how to moderate. Don't. There you go. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, block yourself. Exactly. Hey there, Story Bin. How's it going? Welcome. Sorry, I see you have a minute ago. I meant to address you. Welcome. It's good to have you here. We connected not that long ago, like what, a week ago or something like that, eh? I won't need it, but it looks quite exactly. That, that's been the running joke. You walked into it. I just handed them out to everybody like candy. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Midnight Raven. Sorry if I missed it. I, I look quickly. I always see if anybody's on. I never want to cut into anybody else's stream. If I did, uh, my biggest apologies. Here, to make up for it, you get to be moderator, too. There you go. We're handing them out today. <coughs> Wear it with pride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll handle the coach. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Probably funny. Yep. <laughs> I'm still uh, not blocking myself. I have to go because I have played a disaster and everyone is crying. Oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, good luck to you on that. You're so amazing. Thanks for coming. Good luck. <laughs> Hope you make it through okay. You can come back and cry after if you need to. We'll listen to you. Xenia's not here. Maybe I'll just cry with you because I know women like to cry in pairs. So, <laughs> yeah, I tried vaping. I got the vape. Xenia bought it for me for Christmas. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time I said that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Good luck. See, I can relate to women. I get where they're coming from. 
sympathetic shoulder. Mm -hmm. The women. Yeah, yeah. You got some dogs that keep you pretty busy on the same effect. So dogs are like uh, children that never age. <laughs> okay, right, so I won't get too far into our books or anything, but we're we're doing okay. <laughs> oh, good for you, Coriolis. Excellent. Yeah, I quit one time for a while too. I know. It's not the greatest of habits, but I gotta cut back though again. I noticed that's winter I've really been going overboard. We had a lot of stuff happen this year, and it's no ex excuse. It's just that's typical with any smoker. But when the time's right, when the time is right, sir. Like I said, I wouldn't quit, but I'll use that app again. It works really well to cut back. Yeah. Uh, you lift coffee and respect for men. Men, a woman lifts a woman. <laughs> exactly. That's right. That's not true. <laughs> and I know, like, we joke around, that's just us, but I mean, anybody else that hears it sometimes, I know they're shocked just the way we talk to each other. You know, it's, she'll say, like, you know, like oh, the coffee one, exactly, like a while ago, would be a good example, you know, and then I get up and I hold her and I pat her back and tell her what every woman loves to hear in those things, the their, their speech and stuff like that. And I tell her she just had a silly moment. <laughs> she was. <laughs> She's a good sport. We always tease each other like that. Well, I'm more the, I'm more the instigator. I think she'll be the first one to back me up on that. All out of love. If you can't joke with your significant other, what's the point, right? Uh, tonight. Yeah, he'll be on tonight. Him and Carol, both of them. It's going to be good. It's going to be a really great live stream tonight, guys. Uh, these are one of the ones that we first connected with in the beginning. Um. Same as we did with uh, Rick and Brooke from the Corn Life Network uh, down the rabbit hole. Oh, uh, God, there's starting to be so many. I'm starting to forget who we all had on. Uh, I can't wait next week. I, I got to ask with Xenia if that guy is confirmed. He had to change yesterday. That's why we brought on Stephanie, who was an amazing guest. Uh, his internet was down. And I like him because he's completely out of the loop. So that's a whole new chance for a whole bunch of other channels to kind of mingle. He's he's funny. He's he's got a show that he doesn't do it all the time. But the first time I found him, and it's like nine in the morning, and he's got these British people on, and one guy is kind of looks a bit like he dresses like the boy George from Culture Club back in the day. He had this rim hat and the big scarf around, opinionated as hell, and he had a couple of older ladies. This one old British lady that kept talking about she scares herself at night when she goes to the bathroom because she can hear her boobs hit the floor. And yeah, it's, a, it's like AM radio at night. You know when you're driving to the States because Canada is, doesn't have that as much because we're so far apart. And uh, you're going through and uh, always, are you involved in the creator thon tomorrow? No. No. Uh, and I wish them the best of luck. Uh, Jim and uh, James had even graciously offered to for us to go on to take us from like 1350 to 1500, you know, try to get there. But that's more, I want to see more smaller channels have that spot. You know, not that we're gigantic, but I mean, they need that attention more than we do. And I, I don't want to take a place from somebody who really needs it. Uh, and um, tomorrow night we have a guest anyways at 8 o'clock. I mean, it's booked before all this stuff happens. So um, we have Miss Kathy, Jesse, her daughter. We have her, looks like her three boys will all be home, so they're all going to be on, and for the first time ever as well, her husband. So it would be the whole family. So I think that's going to be really amazing. And, I mean, the, the, the marathon will be going for a couple hours before we go on and stuff like that. So I wish them the best, you know. I uh, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday, the marathon. Yes, yeah, tomorrow. Okay, cool. Is the one the picture where he has the snow mountain in the background of a woman? 
Oh, sorry, Raven, and that's probably me. I missed something. I apologize. I I didn't quite understand. Okay, cool. He is the one with a picture where he has the snow mountain in the background of a woman on a on his picture. A woman in the cover of the book. Oh, so, sorry. I apologize. Here, let's go find St. Otto. I'll bring them up. They got two channels, actually. They got one where they do kind of like a, a, a St. Enterprises and St. Otto. But let's look up St. Otto. St. Otto. Uh, channels. Let's filter. There we go. Ah, oh, that's worse when you get so many tabs going. Okay. And it always opens up this side. They gotta come up with a better way for screen sharing. This is always awful. There. So that is Saint Auto. Oh wow, the bell is still uh, clicked. That's amazing. I know I've been getting updates from them. They do cars, and they talk about their support for the communities, the same community that they have, plus the Armor Creator, Insane Friends, which I love community. You know, they're a really great bunch of people. They're really interesting, too, because I, we're going to talk more, of course, as we always do about like uh, more personal stuff. And they were married, if I'm not mistaken, three times to each other. There's St. Enterprise. And they talk about like how to grow on YouTube, all kinds of different advice. They're a real riot, the two of them. They're, and they've been with us since the beginning, so. Oh, there. Stop sharing that. That's yes, that was from Facebook. My father's birthday yesterday. If you're watching, Dad, once again, happy birthday to you. You're an amazing dad. Uh, now I can come by. <laughs> the, the Darth Vader massive prices. Yeah, it is. That is good. <laughs> Well, it's going to be fun. It's going to be good tonight. Attorney Taste Buds, you're here. Welcome. We were just talking about you a while ago. Uh, have a great day, Neil. And yes, we're looking for the fifth. We're going to be on their uh, their uh, live uh, taping for their pod podcast. So that's going to be really cool. They're such an amazing couple. It's. Uh, So many good channels. You know, this is all I've ever asked from from you guys, and you guys have stepped up to the plate tenfold. You're good supporters. Uh, you're amazing people. And we're, as always, very proud to be associated with you. You guys make us look good. Um, that's, pretty, that's pretty nice, in my opinion, to be able to say. Respectful and good to each other. You support each other. You help each other. Like the other night in Tech Talk uh, Tuesday, which we love having, and get your questions ready for that because uh, that's only a couple of days away. Again, it's a great chance to kind of catch up with everybody. And everybody was, like, asking us questions but also asking each other questions. And uh, that's, that's, couldn't, that's the best thing that could ever happen. And you meet some new people in here, check out their channels and get to know each other. Yeah, no, I didn't forget about Carol. I, I, I think I even said it was first you mentioned it. Yeah, both of them are great. <laughs> I'm wanging it today. <laughs> Good to see you, girl. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, no, not the minute. No, so that was uh, Neil. Uh, um, oh my, I, I'm so tongue tied today. No, 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 no. Love to, and they might be coming to Ottawa, so we're praying that they will. 
No, no, that we're talking about Halo and Heathens. Uh, they do a podcast. They started off with a podcast. They just recently got got into the YouTube thing. They're st that was their forte, and they're still doing it. So now they're starting like YouTube live streams to record their podcasts, and they were on with us a couple of weeks ago. Yep. They're all everybody's connecting. That's excellent. And yeah, that's great. Like, you know, it's not limited to YouTube. God, anytime can never push the importance of the other social medias. Do you have us already, Raven? I think you're already connected with Xenia, if I'm not mistaken, right? On Twitter? Hmm. We'll stay on a couple more minutes and then I'm going to uh, pass off the reins. If anybody's having a live stream right after this or something, please uh, post it in here. We did that with uh, Stephanie the other night from Best Friend in Your Thread. And that works so great. Like, um, you know, we were, she was talking to the thread. She, I asked her if she was going to do one. She said yes. So I'm like, perfect. Uh, we got the link. Told her when she was ready to give us the link, we posted in the chat, and a lot of people from our chat went straight over there. You know, this there's always a great way to work with each other. There's there's more than enough room for everybody. There doesn't have to be competition or stepping on each other's feet. So if you do have one, please post the link or tell them you're gonna have it, and we'll promote the hell out of it before we we uh, sign off. I sign off. See, I'm so used to being with Xenia still. I say we all the time, and. Yeah. Did you see that? Excellent. And Corey, also, fact, don't be shy tonight. Like, you know, because you see, I can say with you guys, you don't do it every two minutes. Like, you know, if you want to say at the beginning and then at the end of the stream and stuff like that, like posts that we'll be having one, please do. We don't mind at all. It's so much easier to be good to each other than to have big squabbles. Oh, uh, yeah, so are we teeth throw. Like I said, we're definitely going to try to, we're, we're getting new ones in all the time because if we start bringing back, you know, even if we, I mean, I loved our guests. We've had some, some amazing guests, but we're spreading out just a little bit so everybody, uh, you know, because then you're going to get people saying, well, they were just on and blah, 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 and I, I don't want that because I think that, I don't want my our guests to ever feel uh, anything but fully embraced on the show. Now, if they want to do one and have us on, we're there. Like, we're going to be doing, we were supposed to do Rick's yesterday, but uh, family uh, work issues came up for Brooke, but we're going to go on Monday. Uh, as I mentioned about Neil and them from Halo and Heathens, we're going to be on with them on May 5th. And, um, yeah, whenever we can, we like to go on others' channels as well. The more networking we do and cross-promotions, everybody wins. Oh, there you go. That's good. The two ravens. I like it. It's got a nice ring to it. What phone? Because you've been telling me about your phone, or what? What phone do you have? And what do you use in the meantime? Do you have a PC, or, or a Mac, or an iPad, or are you just like dealing with your phone until it goes for repairs right now? Phones are good, but the, for Hangouts, whenever possible, it's easier when you have a PC. Uh, they usually connect almost instantly. Phones are a little more quirkier with Hangouts. That's why, especially anybody who's going to be using a phone, we want to do a dry run first to make sure everything is working. Yes, uh, you are very similar in back. I agree. I, I think that would be really neat to see the two of you together. I, I, that would be a really good collaboration. 
Uh, uh, Midnight Raven, uh, also you too. I think you've been in contact with my wife through Twitter. Is that right? No, duels. I, I, I know I'm dragging on OBS and I got to. I was just so overworked. I'm kind of worried to get into it, but I want to, and it's really getting on my nerves that I'm not into it already. Uh, but I definitely want to get into OBS. So there's no doubt about it. Good afternoon. Can't stay for long. Just thought I was stopping to show support. Larry Johnson, we all love your name. We had a big discussion about it the other night. It has that perfect... <laughs> what was the name of that movie? The, it was the main one about all the, uh, like the, the, the glory days of the porn industry. It just has such a name. Larry Johnson. I love it. <laughs> I remember Best Friend Your Thread. We were all discussing it. She put you in with, uh, I think it was Larry Bird and Match Johnson. <clears throat> we had like a good 20-minute discussion up on it. <laughs> I will. I will definitely watch it. It's, you know, I'm not too bad with that kind of stuff. It's just literally is to get the time for it. And it's one of those things that you say, oh, I'm going to get at that. And then it just gets put off a day and a day and a day and a day. <laughs> yeah, everybody loves Coriolis. Great channel. Great wit. Uh, actually, have you talked to Xenia yet? Because we definitely wanted to have you on the on the as a guest, eh, Coriolis? Have you uh, talked to Xenia through Twitter or? Because uh... I know we discussed it, so that's why I was wondering. Yeah, I know. I know what you're saying about cameras. Same here, like because of the live streams. Like, I mean. Too like it's it's good in a way right now because Montreal in the springtime is not exactly the most attractive looking. It's it's very gray and uh, you know trees got no. Yeah, uh, do you have Twitter or Corels? If you do, it's just Pusha Studios. Because uh, too, it's good to have one of those like Twitter or Facebook Messenger. You can go into Facebook as well, Pusha Studios. Um, because if you're on, we just need something that we can quickly send you the link. Excellent. So, yeah, just push the studios. Uh, all one word for Twitter, two words for Facebook. Oh, excellent. Then, yeah, just send us a message and uh, definitely would love to get you on. I mean, we've been following each other for a long time. Yeah, we have Facebook because the photography side, you know, you get some. Let's face it, it's most of the older crowd tend to still want Facebook, but. It's falling less and less needed. We've keep it going, but very minimally. <laughs> I don't know, girl. <laughs> you tell me, my friend. <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> yeah you see that's the thing we just closed our other business and with photography i mean we gotta get it when we have the domain bought but it's um it's one of those things like it's not really necessary but definitely should be done and just been kind of it's one of those things that's always on the back burner because I did a lot of work on our previous business, uh, Your Events Iceland. And uh, I don't know, it just kind of fell through. And we were relying so much on uh, social media as that kind of just fell by the wayside. But yeah, I put up something minimalistic, more like linking to the social medias. But I should have one, definitely. I should have one up and running. I mean, you'll work with me. We're going to join forces. Oh, I'm going to, be, unfortunately, yeah, I got to take off soon, Larry. But uh, tonight at 8 o'clock, we have uh, Eastern, we have St. Otto on, which I'm sure you know. So, Victor and Carol, that's going to be a really good watch. 
<laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll be working for you, uh, gorilla. You can interview me. Oh, really? Oh, that's nice. Excellent. Definitely have to check that out. Thanks for letting me know. Gray sky photo. I will definitely check that out. That's why I, I pre. You guys, you ever get a chance? Please go to uh, Instagram and check out. Uh, it's mostly Xenia's photography, and uh, um, you. Yeah, she does amazing work. She's like I say, represented Quebec in National Geographic two years ago. She represented for Canada. Uh, Canada's July first is Canada's birthday. And they picked up a photo from each province, and she won for Canada, for Quebec. And uh, she won upcoming phot photographer of the year two years ago and stuff like that. She's had her, uh, she won a contest last year that once again represented Quebec for the uh, 150th anniversary, Canada's 150th birthday. And uh, yeah, no, if you get a chance, she's just got amazing work, like serious, serious photography skills. I believe it's because of her background in studying in psychology that really makes her good especially with uh, she's great with landscapes her and i have a big thing in making characters out of non-human subjects that's what we both really like to focus on yep uh links in the description for all of her social medias and um definitely check out her instagram she is a really really great photographer you'll really like her work I guarantee you. <laughs> All that brains too. Yeah, she's got a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, she's a she's a product of the European school system. You know, three languages, masters, the whole thing like that. I've always said Can Canada. Well, with Rick especially, because Rick always says he wants uh, and uh, best friend of your thread wants to be honorary Canadians. Canada's always the middle ground. If you take Europe and the United States, Canada is always kind of that halfway in between both. We don't have as many holidays, for instance, like uh, work holidays as Europe, but we have more than the States. And it's uh, uh, our gun rules aren't as strict as Europe, but they're stricter than the States. It's always got that kind of in the middle. And almost most topics you think of, it kind of ends up in that range. And we were saying today... Uh, only on Instagram, or can you see her photos on another site? Uh, you can uh, Facebook as well. Uh, Facebook's got a lot of them too. We were just talking about setting up a website again. It is something we got to do. It's just been, it's good to have a website to have the presence, but it's not such a big generator, but it is good to have one. It really helps. Coriolis, you were born in Germany. Oh, cool. Love Germany. Uh, UK educational, yeah, I, I, I know, yeah, and when I say that, I should be more specific because that's like painting everywhere with one brush, and you're true, and that's right. And uh, it was like the, the, the ex Soviet countries kind of produce a lot of the, the students, like Xenia was in that part right now. I mean, things do change from time to time, but uh, yeah, I know, I know, and same as Canada's taking a dip in that too, like uh, a lot of things we used to get very easily. Welcome, Vicky. Good to see. You. There, I got you on, so I'm gonna catch you too. I don't know if you've been in touch with Xenia yet, Vicky. Uh, through Twitter, uh, she was trying to get in touch with you guys too about getting you guys as a guest on the show. So um, I don't know if you've done that yet. And I'll say this, and then I'll find out. She's like, "Yeah, I talked to them two weeks ago, and it's all set." Sometimes, so I'm just I remember though specifically your channel. So I'm grabbing you while you're here right away. Coriolis, it's always uh, it's always good to have you, and definitely get in touch with you because we we want to have you on really soon. So so amazing, I have so many good channels like that. Excellent, yep, and uh, just get us through Twitter, Pusha Studios, send it off, and uh, uh, we'll get that started. You guys are great channel too. So I still remember the night I got you guys in your live stream in the restaurant. Uh, I I still see that <laughs> that was so amazing. Excellent, Coriolis. You take care of yourself, okay?
Awesome channels. It always amazes me. Biker Bushcraft, sorry, I want to get back to you. Just been listening in for a few months. So great to have you here. Such a gentleman. He's the one the night that the, our internet provider crapped out on us. And we ended up being off for over an hour in the middle of his interview. And uh, he, when we came back on, wasn't only gracious enough while we were telling him what was happening during it, agreed to come back on and we did basically like two full episodes in one night it was so amazing and so is so interesting to listen to uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah that was hilarious i had such a laugh oh my god almighty i remember my son we were in saskatchewan i had a cousin live there and i hadn't seen him in 20 years and we just kind of reconnected and he was living on his own, and uh, Xenia was with me, and she's still new to Saskatchewan. We go over there, and of course, it looked like any guy's place does when they live on their own. And she's like, I can't take it anymore. And she spent four hours cleaning up his place for him. So he's all nice about it and kind of laughing. He's easy going. And he said, well, at least I can take uh, Chris out for ice cream, our son. It's like, okay. I said, you don't have to. But we went, and <laughs> we got ice cream. And... Uh, you know, when kids say stuff, you never know what's going to come out. And we got out, and uh, Chris really wants sprinkles. And I'm doing the father thing. I'm like, you don't need sprinkles. You're fine with an ice cream. And he's like, I'd really, so he, my cousin buys him sprinkles, no problem. So we get in the car, and he goes to hand on the ice cream. I said, there, look. I said, Michael got you uh, ice cream, and he got your sprinkles for you. What do you say to him? He goes, good, <laughs> like that, straight face like that. And I wanted to die, and my cousin is just laughing. He can't even stop, like, just the way it was said. And I'm like, don't you ever say it again? He goes, no, 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 that was better than a thousand thank yous. And he, he was like, he still talks about it to this day. <laughs> oh, oh, Raven, you got company? Well, listen, thank you so much for dropping by. <clears throat> Always such a pleasure. Like I say, guys, I got to pull pin too soon. I uh, get everything else done before the kids get home. It's been so nice hanging with you guys. And anybody I didn't mention here who wants to be on the show, like um, just send over a line on Twitter. You guys are all a lot of great channels. It's always good to sit down with you. It's always good. To, I honestly believe those interviews and, and, and mostly everybody that's had them with us is saying that you know they're getting better comments and stuff because they know you better so they're more uh, they watch your stuff more more intensively because they got a connection with you they uh oh god almighty we've been down that road already rick god <laughs> the <laughs> the troll the troll Pushing your agenda all over my channel. What are you doing to me here? <laughs> You're so funny. You can't be back on until at least we go on yours. <laughs> I thought you'd like that one. That's for that's payback. <laughs> no disclaimer. Rick is not a troll. <laughs> you guys are too much guys I gotta run I gotta get everything else taken care of here god yeah I've been on for a long while so good to have you as all we have a really great show tonight definitely Rosario you are the best my friend good luck with the yard work and everything always looking forward to seeing you now that you're, you're a moderator and everything else and all that good stuff and uh, you guys have a really great afternoon. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it so much. Uh, keep in, drop us a line on Twitter. Check out. Please leave comments if you can and a like. And it means the world. Midnight Raven, it was great having you here as well. Thank you so much. Yes, that sounds great. Please do, uh, Vicky, and let us know. Uh, love to have you. You guys are great. T-Throg, you take care of yourself, all right? You keep in touch. Great show tonight, guys. Vic, uh, Victor and uh, Carol from St. Otto tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be really great. Have a great day, guys. Cheers and keep creating. Bye now.